Nearly six months, after we first heard of the Maze U15 Plus, Maze U has finally taken the wraps off the phone. In a world filled with 18x9 display, with or without notches, Maze U has decided not to follow the bandwagon. It has chosen the traditional 16x9 display, and has built an impressive device around it. The Maze U15 is the beginning of a new era of design, for Maze U phones. The home key called the M back button, has been redesigned. It is no longer shaped like a pill, but is now a circle. It still houses the fingerprint scanner, and can be used for navigation. Employing a symmetric design, right at the same spot on the top bezel, is the front-facing camera. Above the camera is a thin slit between the glass, and the frame, within that slit is the earpiece. While you may not see it, there are IR sensors on the left of the front camera, and an ambient light sensor on the right. The Mazia 15 supports face unlock, so this should be more secure, than the ones found on other devices. The rear is covered in aluminum, and comes in four different colors, blue, gold, black, and a white version, that looks like ceramic. Mazia has also given the antenna lines, a nice Aztec-like design. The rear cameras sit in the middle, and are slightly raised. There is also a ring flash beneath them. Mazia also does an amazing job keeping the thickness, of the Mazia 15 at 7.25 mm, the length at 72 mm, and the weight at just 152 gram. The Mazia 15 has a 5.46 inch, full HD plus display, while the Mazia 15 plus has a larger 5.95 inch, 2K display. Both are Samsung Super Hold screens, and are reported to have cost millions of dollars, to be made into those custom sizes. The Mazia 15 is powered by the Snapdragon 660 processor, paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB or 128GB of storage. The Plus variant is powered by Samsung Exynos 8895 processor. This is the same 10 nanometers octa-core processor found in the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy Note 8. The Mazia 15 Plus is paired with 6GB of RAM and 64GB, 128GB of storage. As for the camera, both homes are equipped, with the same rear cameras. The main sensor is a 20MP Sony IMX380 sensor, the same sensor found in the Huawei P20. The secondary camera is a Sony IMX350, wide-angle sensor, for 3x lossless zoom. There is 4-axis optical image stabilization, combined with Rainbow's multi-frame synthesis technology, for superior low-light images. There is also smart scene recognition, and panorama mode. The front camera is also a 20MP sensor, with 4-in-1 synthetic pixels, smart AI beauty mode, and portrait mode. The Mazia 15, and 15 Plus have stereo speakers. The home button, fingerprint scanner is pressure sensitive, just like the Galaxy S8. It uses a dedicated pressure sensitive chip, that works with a new technology, called M-Engine to provide haptic feedback. There is a USB-C port, a 3.5mm audio jack, and a speaker grill at the bottom. The Mazia 15 has a 3000mAh battery, and the Mazia 15 Plus has a 3500mAh battery. Both support Mazia 24W M charge, fast charge technology. The Mazia 15 is priced at 2499 yen for the 4GB plus 64GB model and 2,799 yen for the 4GB plus 128GB model. The Mazia 15 Plus is 2,999 yen for the 6GB plus 64GB, and 3,299 yen for the 6GB plus 128GB model. For more video like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching guys, see you guys next one.